Hi everybody, it's Tina here at Hummingbird Tales. Um, just a couple of quick things before I continue with um, this journal share I'm going to do with you. Um, which actually this journal I purchased from a lovely lady called Tracy Lyons Warner. And I purchased her Daydreaming Junk journal. I saw it on YouTube and I just fell in love with it. So this is her details, Tracy Lyons Warner, and she's doing a giveaway because she's reached 500 subbies. I think in fact she's gone past 500, but she's got two beautiful journals um, that you have a choice of winning in her giveaway. So you really must get yourself over there and I will share with you the um, journal that I bought from her the daydreaming junk journal in just a few seconds and I'd like to do another shout out to Edwina Kinch um, handmade by Edwina this is her YouTube channel she's doing a challenge giveaway as well um, check the details out folks but basically um, she wants a comment um, and she would like you to send her a card and she's got two prizes and I think one is um, a beautiful lace like a uh, folder um, type of thing with a beautiful lady on the front and the other prize is a fantastic purple lavender journal so that's Edwina Kinch handmade by Edwina challenge giveaway check her details out and uh, go and look at her beautiful work because it truly is stunning so back to today, um, I'm not going to spend too long here because I've got lots of work to get through and then hopefully lots of things to show you. But I saw this journal on Junk Journal Junkies on Facebook, um, the front cover and a few pages. And I went on to Tracy's channel and when I saw it, I just fell in love with it. I received it yesterday and I was going to open it on film, but I was sitting there fidgeting and staring and in the end I couldn't contain myself. So I've opened it and I've had a good look and it is stunning. Um, she also, bless her, sent me some little extra goodies. Um, one of which is this lovely paper bag. And this washi tape is actually the washi tape that was um, holding the parcel together. But I keep everything. And it is lovely with the butterflies, if you can see that. And she sent me this gorgeous napkin. Actually, I think they're... Yes, there's two. And what I'm going to do, Tracy, I'm actually going to decoupage a bit of this, either on some cards or actually in the journal itself, because it is beautiful. Um, these are beautiful and will go well with that lovely journal I purchased from you. There was a doily. This was all part of her packaging. And it was all tied with this beautiful bit of um, string here. And this is her card, My Vintage Ant. And I'm going to show you her details. Um, I won't show you her phone number, but she is on Facebook under My Vintage Ant, if you want to check her out. She sent me this tag. I don't know if she made it for me or if it was in her stash, but it, I had to share it because, guys, you all know I love corsets. And this is the first time, apart from my journal from the lovely Sagita, that I've received um, any sort of tag or card with um, a corset on. I send them out quite a bit, but to receive one was just wonderful. And it's all sewn onto coffee paper. It's absolutely gorgeous. So thank you so much for that, Tracy, and, and the seam binding. I don't know if you dye the seam binding or if you buy it like that, but it's wonderful. Thank you, thank you. And this was what she wrote on to me. Um, just asking, you know, hope that I like the journal and everything. And Tracy, I love, 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 love it. And uh, I knew I was right to buy it. It called out to me. And uh, this is going to live in the journal. So enough of that. Um, I've put it back in its paper to keep it safe. Um, my husband and I are trying to find something at the moment that I can actually display my journals on because I don't keep any of my own. But I do buy or swap with people because I, I love giving away my art or selling it or doing it in swaps. 
and uh, I like to get it back and you, I honestly haven't got a thing that I've made apart from maybe one or two ATC cards when I've made extra but apart from that I haven't got anything but anyway so this is it now I want to make sure you can see this now the paper kit I can't remember where she got it from but it's a design team project I got a feeling it's calico collage but if you check Tracy's channel out once again Tracy Lyons Wona or Warner um, that is what her channel is called you will see this journal on there and she'll tell you better about it but what she said was that this is actually a book that she has gutted and she painted in like an off-white colour she's put this beautiful rosette trim on the spine and the picture on the front it just reminds me of fairyland or heaven in fact you know it's gorgeous and she's got metal book corners here and here and there's a Tim Holtz I think it's a Tim Holtz one um what are these called oh you know what they are and uh, hitch post <laughs> I know what they are and then hang in she's got this beautiful pink dangly um bead and this one that says live your dream and this is a fountain pen nib absolutely gorgeous and that's pinned on with a bowl pin so if we oh the back sorry guys and there's the um, image on the back just absolutely stunning i love these little bees sagita loves her flies tracy's got her bees <laughs> and the metal plates are here and here as well oh I, I just love it it's a refreshing change to have something so um white and creamy and dreamy because my journals are very grungy and uh and i love my grungy journals but i just had to get this so inside she's lined it with paper she's done a hidden um um or what they called hidden binding technique um and she's also managed you know left the gap which is lovely i haven't seen that before let's get this back in frame okay so this is the first page isn't that beautiful look at the colors on that it's just stunning and she's got a bee here i believe she fussy cut them all out of the kit and then she's got these gorgeous cards of um lovely and vintage ladies now there's no coffee dyed paper in here but it wouldn't look right in this journal it really wouldn't so she's got lined paper and the other thing i loved was all this old dictionary paper that she's decoupaged on it's just this is just summer to me and this lovely bird and stamping but I'm sure you agree, it's just so elegant. And this is one of her tags. And this is a butterfly tag that's um, on with a bulb clip and some seam binding. And what got me about this also is the way that she fussy cut um, the paper. So she'd get two or three copies of one page and then fussy cut the elements out and make the pockets out of the shape of the elements. So it really gives it so much depth. And there's a butterfly and he's got glittery rings, wings, rings. And this is a ticket which says happiness blooms from within. Now I've probably not put things back the way that Tracy put them in. Because you know I'm a fiddler. And then we've got this tag with um, paper from the kit. And just look at this trim. It's just beautiful. How delicate is that? really lovely something for them and then here if I can get it without oh, I'm all thumbs today come on nails that's got dream stamped on it put that in there but I just thought this was such a clever idea this beautiful stamp sorry hit the camera I'm back at my craft um, table today, guys. I had enough of trying to do it downstairs in the lounge. My camera's set up for it much better up here. And this is um, 
one of a few envelopes that she's included in here that I think were gifted to her and just see the pattern it's a textured envelope and inside it's like flowers and things it's like gorgeous and there's a journaling card actually um a page that she's used for extra journaling space it's just gorgeous because you've got in this um kit you've got the background the foreground and the bits in between as i like to say <laughs> Some of the pages look really faded out and amazing. And then you've got the little bees here around the honey. So that's a pocket there. More um, stamping. And again, we've got some of this lovely um, dictionary paper that she's decoupaged on. Um, I've been speaking to quite a few ladies recently that do decoupage in all their journals. And I put some in my recent spring journal... For the first time in ages and ages i don't know why i don't do it i've got hundreds of napkins and i love them but i tend to hoard them just pausing a minute can you see what i mean about this being this is the background and then you've got this coming forward and then forward again you've got the foreground it just looks amazing the way that she's put these pockets and pages together and there's some more that gorgeous trim on a card that she stamped a little bee up there yeah so with a decoupage um, I am going to start decoupaging more in my journals um, I'll try and figure out a way to do it that's a bit different but um, it's also so much fun now I've got a question for you all those of you that do decoupage when I've done it um, I've actually used um, what's it called uh, Mod Podge and I never seem to get a very smooth effect it's always very bumpy would you guys suggest that I um, wet it down with some water if you know what I mean thin it out a bit glassine bag here or envelope type thing um, because I'm not sure what to do about that but I want to do more because I think it's um, really effective to personalise your journals. So that goes in there, and I just put this in hanging out over the front, like that. And here she's got a pocket on the side, and just look at that, it's beautiful. And she stamped a postcard on the back. Anyone in the UK know where we can get this stamp? Let me know, or something like it. I haven't got anything like that this dear little robin and this paper looks like it's come out of some sort of um catalogue type thing and then we've got this one and this is a little collage she's done with layering up some dictionary paper and some of the um, paper from the kit and again the beautiful purples and i'm getting the itch to make a purple and lilac journal i've been thinking about it for quite a while I've got a few um, things I need to finish, but um, that is something that I am going to be making. And I also want to make a ring binder journal as well. Um, very shabby, very vintage. Um, I do a lot of TNs and I also make quite a lot of um, uh, journals, of, well, with the, um, what they call those envelopes these envelopes class envelopes are they this one was sent to me so i can't show you the address but i do love using these and i'm very fortunate that my friend stina Sw um, swanson in america she gets them for me and um, i've also been making quite a few fabric covers lately but uh, i really really after watching kathy cadeal on youtube and seeing Miss Angie's work and there's a few other lovely ladies out there that have made them or well, quite a few actually I really want to have a go at making one of those because I really do love my collage work just see the bees and how they come off the page where she's put glitter on them and there goes my camera again it's because I've got it set up on a piece of wood that's sort of balanced on my table look at that 
Don't you think she's beautiful? Absolutely gorgeous. This really is a beautiful, beautiful journal. And it will be one that I'll be writing in. But um, it will be where I keep my deepest thoughts and any sort of spiritual feelings and things. You know, it's good to have a place to put them, isn't it? Oh, it's just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. And the other thing I liked what um, Tracy's done to this is the photographs. She has actually put them on photo paper. And we, we tend to put them on matte paper. I use matte photo paper for mine. But I actually really like them on the photo paper. And Sagita Coffee Stains did the same in my Moulin Rouge journal. So that is something that I will be um, doing as well when I next make a new journal. I'm finishing off a couple at the moment and I hope it won't be too long before I'm able to show them to you. Gosh, aren't I a chatterbox today? <laughs> a bit of extra journaling paper there. But uh, I, just, I just love how everybody puts their journals together and how individual they are and that you'll never find the same one. You know, and I have got a real obsession with them, with making them and with buying them, as I'm sure you're all the same. Otherwise, we wouldn't be into them, would we? Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. And this is a lovely little mat that I could put a photo on or maybe um, do a bit of decoupage on some a card or something and put it on that. That's what I thought. And she's got sewing on that one. But I just love the way she's laid up her pockets. Again, it's something I don't really do. So that's the first signature, and this is the second. This is just beautiful. It's one of my favourite images, that is. So we open here. And she's done this beautiful work here where she's layered up dictionary paper and parts of the kit and this die cut here with this lovely lady to create a, a tuck spot and there's this beautiful picture here. It's just, oh, it's stunning, Tracy. And I've been waiting for this for about, it's probably about eight or nine, maybe 10 days and it's come all the way to the UK from Australia. Can you excuse me a moment while I turn my alarm off? I always seem to get it when I'm on film. <coughs> but I'm not going to be editing and doing this again. So here's the um, page. It's the most beautiful, beautiful paper there. And then she's really brought the foreground out again because she's fussy cut around another copy of it and has made a pocket out of it and here we've got another glassine little little pouch envelope pockets and there's two journaling cards in here that she's made out of papers from the kit let's see if i can get them back in here and there's another one of these lovely big journaling cards And this is very different to um, my Alice in Wonderland beauty that Andrea from Artie Mays made me. Life is like a flower, let it unfold. Um, and if any of you haven't seen that yet, please either look on Andrea's channel, which is Artie Mays, or look back on mine, because it is absolutely amazing. And uh, I'm going to get her back. But uh, like I said, got some new ideas coming and uh, just need to think a bit more about it. See all the glitter on that page? And there's a bow here. And there's a pocket here. And in here she's got another piece of paper which looks like it's from the kit. And she's, I think, I think the bees are already on there and she's um, added glitter, but it's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And we've got birds here. Yeah, so I'm planning Andrea's 
journal that I'm going to make her for the swap. But in the meanwhile, I've got several to finish and another one to make, which I will share with you as soon as I've done them. Isn't that lovely? Notice all of the colours in these photos matching with the colours in the kit. It's beautiful, so clever. And then I, I folded them and put them over that. We've got three tickets here and she stamped Create and Dream. So I just um, put them like that. But every other page has got a pocket or some little extra journaling spot. There's that trim. Look at the colour up here. So if this is Calico Collage, like I said, check out Tracy's channel. Um, it will all be written there. See a little bee up here. Because <laughs> um, this is a lovely paper. Absolutely lovely. And I live in Cornwall. And quite deep in the countryside. And uh, when summer's here and it's a beautiful sunny day and someone's got a garden i'll tell you it's not far from these pictures that's lovely isn't it does that fold out no that's a card and there's a fountain stamped on there beautiful absolutely gorgeous and there's another page from the kit so um tracy i will treasure this always and blue is my favorite color and there's lots of blue in this it's all the little extra details that i love a, one of those envelopes again i tucked up there like that can you see i might even unfold that but not to write on. Now, I think I'm going to use a bit of this and I'm going to do a bit of decoupaging, possibly with a bit of that area on this page here. And there's a bird there. And this is a corner tuck from the top and there's a journaling card again I don't know if she shrunk down the pages and made this or if it is part of the kit as a journaling card and there's another little Paris envelope with some extra paper there to write on something special can go in there And there's another one of those envelopes. I won't open it out again. Whoops. Oh, Tina, Tina, Tina. More haste, less speed. And there's paper, um, dictionary paper again with the butterflies. And there's some stamping here of like a summer house type seating area. And then this is the last page. And then here in this pocket, she's got a lovely lady again on one of these mats. And this tag with a little bird hanging. Just stunning. Absolutely beautiful. There's the last page. And there is lace here. And you've seen the back, and that's it. Beautiful. So Tracy, thank you so much. I'm so glad that I got hold of you and um, asked if it was for sale and it wasn't sold at the time. And it was one that I bought for me. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. And again, people, if you want to check out Tracy's channel, it's um, YouTube. Tracy's channel is just called Tracy Lyons Wilner. W-O-E-R-N-E-R -E -E and she's got a 500 subbies giveaway 
and don't forget the lovely Miss Edwina Kinch, who um, has got a channel handmade with Edwina, and she's got a challenge giveaway going as well. So for now, guys, happy Sunday, and it shouldn't be too long, and I should be back with some more things to show you that I've made. So take care. Bye for now.